Welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. So if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail, I mean, I don't know how you wouldn't be able to tell. This thing is a quarter inch out of plumb, which is insane. You know, a quarter inch over about five inches is ridiculous. So I'm not sure if we're even gonna be able to fix this with conventional methods, which is just sort of tweaking the receptacles and the plate. Um, but let's get into this and figure out how the heck we're gonna fix this one. First things first, obviously we just need to get this plate off and see what's even going on. My guess is the actual box is in really crooked because it's hard to make that big of a mistake. You know, usually you can just kind of tweak it, right? But it's really bad. Okay, so it's one of these metal mud boxes, which isn't a good start. It means there's gonna be very little room for adjustment. Let's see if we can kind of Tweak it down like so, and this one down. Doesn't feel like there's much. So what I've been doing is just sort of twisting these and seeing if I can get them in the opposite direction. So now at this stage, before I get these all fully tightened, I'm gonna see if there's any opportunity to start twisting this thing around. All right, let's see how bad it is now. Okay, we got rid of an eighth. It's a lot better. Nope, we're still at that eighth. So how do we get that last eighth out of there? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna take this off again, and put my thinking cap on and see if I can figure out a way to solve this that won't actually just go out of plumb over time again. I may have found a solution here. So what I've started doing is drilling this bit out right here. Can you see how it looks taller in this little spot and a little bit wider? So I took some pliers here, held onto it, took my drill bit here, and then just reamed it out over and over to get a little more space up in that corner. So that's gonna help this receptacle sit down more, curved. So now we have to take a little bit out of the top left corner of this one. So we'll screw this one back in. Yeah, it's going right into that little pocket. So again, I'm gonna hang on to this and I'm now gonna be placing the pressure and trying to make it wider right here. Now we'll take a look at that. So now you can see there's just a little bit more room up in that pocket there. So it's gonna help drop this and twist it that way. So I still don't think that that's gonna be good enough. I think that I have to do some work on this one as well to help. So we've dropped this one down and over. We need to bring this one up and over. And I've gotta think carefully as to exactly where I'm putting those divots to get the desired outcome. So on this one, we're going to want to do the bottom right corner. Now, I don't know what the proper procedure for doing all this is. All I know is it's probably gonna work. I mean, you can't frame a house around an electrical box, so sometimes you gotta modify the receptacle. Well, that's a quality drill bit. I'm using the homeowner's drill bits right now. I don't work enough, and so I forget to bring some of my tools. Drill bits were one of them. Master crap. Good job, master crap. Let's just take this same drill bit, and put it back in the chuck. We don't need the whole length of it. Okay, I was almost done there, but I want a little more space. Yeah, that should do. These receptacles don't fit easily into this mud box. Okay, I did the bottom right on the top there, so I have to do the bottom left to get the same result. Bottom right, bottom left to get it to twist up. Might have done the wrong side there. Oops. 
Should have done the bottom left, not bottom right. Well, didn't take too long, let's do it again. All this for a quarter inch. Come on, it wasn't that bad, it's just a quarter inch. Nobody said it was gonna be easy, you guys. The moment of truth. But boy, are we ever closer. We are down to a big 16th. It's better. Tappy tap. Oh, small 16th. It's just gonna go back to a 16th once the painter takes it off and puts it back on. So we are so close. Definitely struggling to get that last 16th. And part of the reason that that's looking so off, if you're actually paying attention, is that this one is out the other way. So, here we go. Okay, now that one's totally level. Let's even give it a little more. Just make them all out a half a sixteenth. Take a look at that. I can live with that actually, that's pretty good. So we're now one sixteenth off. Um, as long as you're not, you know, like walking into this room, hanging out right here, staring at the plate with bad intent, um, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. We're at 1 16th. After it was already a quarter inch, I'm pretty happy with that. If I was a total perfectionist, I could pull this all off and spend some more time on it and get... <sighs> Who am I kidding, you guys? You know I want that last 16th. I think we're almost there. Man, really struggling with this last screw. That's looking good. Give it a little tweak, just for good measure. Now let's see. Ah, it's perfect! I'm gonna bring you guys over so you can actually see. There you go. Right there. I'm happy with that. Well, I guess the lesson here is sometimes you just got to put that extra five or ten minutes in to get it looking as good as humanly possible. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Uh, that trick did work in this case. Totally happy with the results. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys got something out of this video. Um, Till the next one. I mean, I already...